maintaining distance between the car in front of me you can see uh, it's reading the car in front of me and as there is a car it stops by itself i'm not doing anything it slows down itself and it's it's maintaining the lane as well sorry uh, the lane got distracted so now again it is on the lane so whenever there is a car approaching in front of it it will slow down itself and it will accelerate whenever there is no car you just have to set the speed so there's a mini cooper approaching as it approached see it slows down and now when there is no vehicle it accelerates so no my hands are off my feet are off you can sit like this prove it so j 508 is doing it well also i could uh, set the speed as per to my requirement if i need it I'll try to increase the speed a bit. Now oh, I'm in 75. Oh, let us not forget, uh, it has an automated speed sensing system as well, wherein it will read the signboards, the speed, and accordingly it will set the speed and it will not let you go above the limited speed for this designated road. Beautiful car, I love the steering. Um, the interaction display is beautiful. Uh, herein you have several options. This is for the human adjustment as per your requirements. So I have put it on boost. So the boost, it will automatically turn the car into sports mode, amplifies the performance of the car. So if you put it in a relaxed mode, so it will turn it into relaxed mode. Uh, wherein it will deactivate the sports mode. If you have seen it before, uh, the D5 was in a red color. Now it turned to normal because now it is in relaxed mode. And believe me or not, when you put this relaxed mode, when if there is no passenger, it will automatically turn on the massages for the seats. The seats have massages on the uh, bottom and on the side. I'll show you how that works. the relax mode, Bluetooth setting. You can see the driver massage. I put it into cat paw. There's several different kinds. That is one is cat paw wave, stretch, lumbar and shoulders. I like the cat, cat paw more. So see, as it is in the lane assistance, it is doing by itself. I can concentrate on something else. It's really nice. And other than that, the settings you have, uh, lighting for how long it should be, etc. Well, etc. Et the application I haven't connected it. These are the options which you have here automatic headlight dipping, virtual parking assistance, parking sensors, traction control. It comes with everything, everything what you need. Parking is in here, you can control the AC. It has different ACs for uh, like 
the driver's seat will have a different temperature and uh, the passenger can have an angle of temperature as well. Works on my mind. The mood lighting. As it is quite bright outside, you cannot see there is a full line of light crossing all over. It's quite beautiful. So the light, the interior light, you just have to swipe like this and it turns off. Like this, and it turns off. Bang. It happens in the back seat as well. Uh, the vents are quite too far. Uh, maybe you have to stretch a little bit. Coming to the speakers, it has a beautiful music system. Literally, and the quarantine facilities are general. One said the party has set a target of adding. A it has a focal surround sound system. You can see around 360 everything there. It controls the 360 degree sound system. And there's a chrome speakers on the corner as well. Beautifully placed. Very nice. Uh, if you don't know, I have left this playing quite three miles ago and then still the car is driving on its own I don't have to concentrate on the steering so much does it right. you even have the chrome uh, pedals here for the manual driving system the steering feels amazing you have this leather uh, soft leather here the horn should have done that and uh, it's soft touch all over the steering. Even the uh, this part is also soft touch. Here it's also soft touch. This part is, I guess, it's a hard one. Yeah, it's a hard one. Except for this part, for this corner, it's a soft touch. Uh, this chrome finish looks real chrome, but I'm not sure if it will be a the glossy finish of the chrome. It was really nice. Uh, for 135,000 dirhams, it's quite a bad if you compare in the market. If you want to get all these options uh, in the BMW or a Mercedes, it might cost more than 100,000. It's a bit annoying if you have put it in the city into automated uh, lane control and when you are trying to change the lane, it will pull you back. Uh, but you will get, you will grow into it because uh, you are not used to this thing. It's better to turn off the automated lane control within the city. If in case you want to change the lane, you have to put the indicator. So, so when I turned on the indicator, you could see those two green lane lines will go off. So, I, so now I have an option to change the lane. I could manually change it. Uh, it doesn't do it by itself like Tesla, but you have to do it manually. So now I put, I put the indicator off. So now it's maintaining the same lane. So the AC has uh, this round thing here, uh, it's supposed to be um, optimize the air. Uh, there is an air filter, air purifier within the car which purifies the air. So when you turn it off, you'll get the air from outside. So when you keep it on, it will circulate the air within the car, purifies it. The right hand side is used to control the uh, inner console and the left hand side uh, if you zoom, if you could zoom into the screen, uh, the left roll changes it as per your requirement. You can see the dials, dials right? It's it has beautiful graphics. So now I've turned it into dials, wherein the dials, the two dials with RPM on the right and the speed on the left. Strange thing is the RPM moves from uh, right to left. It's supposed to be this way. Isn't it? It's this way. Straight. But still, maybe I'll go into it. Uh, this is in the driving mode now. Dial. See the graphics. Uh, so, driving mode will show you RPM again on the right hand side and the speed on the left hand side. But it will give you uh, the, uh, the lane assistance details in the between. And there is another mode that is navigation. So the navigation, you could get it in the middle console as well as on this screen. It's also known as the main HUD head up display as it is placed in the upper position. Although I like it reflecting on the uh, 
glass better but still yeah, it's good it's good so i'll turn the left dial once again so now it's come to personal so as about how many kilometers you have driven how much is the mileage right? ah it gives a pretty good mileage huh? let's not forget that it gives 9.5 per liter and the car is hardly driven 1200 kilometers since it's bought so that's quite a good mileage let us see what it is after 5000 kilometers uh, on the right hand side it shows the engine speed i guess that's the rpm okay. and the minimum for people who are not like me who like it simple for them this is it the speedometer maybe it's for my wife just the speed nothing else simple as that and you dial once again you come to the dials i love the dials part this is this is very important when it comes to the sports mode what is it is it's in the eco mode let me turn it to normal mode if there is any difference in the display no no difference in the display i say stick here did you see that that means the adaptive cruise control is inactive also the lane control so you have to take care uh, i'll change it into the sports mode let us see if there is any difference Uh, but there is a lot of difference in the driving for sure. Uh, it's a bit harsh, and even the steering is a bit harder than before. I could, I could feel a bit of the suspension has come down a bit. Not sure that it's actually happening or it's just a bit. Sufficient amount of amount of space. Bottle holders, I think. I like this leather touch. Yeah, it seats as well. So this is the containers which we have, which has a bulkhead, which has a cover, a decent space, and you have uh, cup holders, the cup holders with the glowing thing, which is connected to the back. Keep the bottle away if it looks used, which is nice. And the parking. Button over here, which is assisting the parking, and the uh, speed modes over here. And this is the manual mode. You put it into manual. So now you use the pedals to shift the gear. So manually it is in fifth. You can see that? That's my ma massage. It's doing all the work, even on the buttons. You could you could hear those motors. It's only on the front seat, not on the back door. The automated parking system. You have several options such as parallel parking, left, right, and uh, perpendicular parking as well. So I'll try the parallel parking on the right. This you have to put that and then put it in the drive and drive along. It will sense the vacant parking on your right and ask you to stop as it feels this is the. Feasible parking. 